Ladies and gentlemen, your officials for tonight's games, Coach Largent and Coach Miller. Game one will begin with a freshman taking the first possession. Gracie Meeks on the first play of the game. Gives the freshman a first down. Balls at the 27. for the freshman. Got a timeout taken by the freshman. You don't see like think you don't see things like this every day, especially for free. Freshman with the ball at the 15 yard line. Sophomore defense has come to life and has stopped the freshman. The ball is turned over on downs. The 
Sophomores will take over first and 10 at the 20. Touchdown, Sophomores. 80 yard bomb from Kiera Nichols to Lizzie Hammett. Sophomores are going to line up for the two point conversion. 20. Ready for the snap. Another throw. Another throw and a good one. <laughs> That's such a good throw. Incredible like. touch pass to the corner Beautiful of the end zone. Two point conversion, good. And it's sophomores all over the freshman, Ready eight to speed. nothing with about half this game to go, five minutes. Like that is, I, I'm honestly surprised at how good of a throw she is making. I mean, she fired it quick, and you have to, because as soon as two hands are on you, you're down. Right. It's over. Zero. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about that. You we'll see if the freshman can come back. Yeah, as seniors, we're not going to say we're biased, but I would love to see the boys in blue, yeah. the girls in blue, our, uh, take this one home. Our safeties better be on their game. I mean, with, with pinpoint accuracy like that, there's no telling what's going to happen. Yeah. So, figuring out the rules. Freshman would take possession. Uh, the 40 -yard freshman line. start on the sophomore's 40 yard line, down 8 to nothing. Just about four minutes to play. And uh, he's taken down. So second down, loss there. Try to fix some audio things. Cheerleaders doing a little stunt for the uh, sophomores yeah, yeah, on the pretty, sideline. That's, that's, pretty that's impressive. a solid stunt. Pretty impressive stunt. Cross check to pass. <laughs> Incomplete. It looked to be Tough, like a little, I mean, some kind of some kind of fake play there. Pressure on her face, yeah. to be fair. But third down, I mean, this sophomore's D uh, has came to play. Mm -hmm. No points through almost seven minutes of action. Only three minutes left to go. Somebody wants a timeout. Timeout taken. Yeah, smart board. timeout. I'll give yeah, that to him. Yeah, Robbie smart Rice, uh, known to do some smart things. So he takes the timeout there. And you're going to think they, they got to go for a pass play here, but yeah. I don't know. I don't see, know if their, their quarterback see, can, can hurl it like the, the yeah. sophomores. Yeah, you see Coach Rice coaching there. I mean, he's all he's in the middle of that huddle down there. He's using his hands. Yeah, he's talking with his action. hands. He just, I don't using know if he his can hands. do that. I mean, he wants this win. Yeah. Coach Rice not known to lose in very many things. He's grabbing people. He's pushing people. He's going all out tonight, Powder Puff. He doesn't want that consolation game. Nobody wants that. Is there is there like a limit on the time? No. The time? Coach Rice has all night to to dig in. If he has to dig into these we, freshman players, we'll be here for hours. I think he's trying to show them how to block. Yeah, he's teaching. <laughs> he's throwing out the windshield wiper. All right, all right. Yeah, he's done. That's all he's got. We'll see if the freshmen respond on third down with 3.13 to go, trailing 8 to nothing. All right, the play will resume. Freshmen have it third and 15 at the 45. Pass play set up almost and almost intercepted. Inter he did get close line. Yeah, it was a close was line. But she did her job, Nichols. broke it up, fourth down. fourth down. I'm just not seeing it, Aiden. I don't know if they can uh, 
Might have to set up a screen or something here. Try to get some blockers in front. Yeah. Maybe set, set up some kind of trick run play. Maybe do another another clothesline like that. And get them See the what edge. they do. Snap. Muff snap. Oh, we, there she's running. Pitch. Pitch. No. But she didn't know that it was a pitch. Ball ball still alive, and uh, she's gonna give up, and the uh, sophomore's gonna take over on downs with 2:30 to go. It looks like they can score another touchdown or run run the rest of this clock off and wind this up. And I gotta say, the, the sophomores were looking much more practiced than the freshmen. Yeah, on uh, both sides, on the uh, football side and on the cheerleading side. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not sure the freshmen watch much football. <laughs> yeah, pitch here. They got another play on up the left sideline. That was only one hand, Howie. That's only one hand. She's yeah. got room. She's breaking tackles. She's going. Left corner of the end zone. Touchdown, sophomores. They are making it look easy. Oh, yeah. And she can she can do it all Kate tonight. Bowman she that she's, to the she's, uh, I believe she was who the caught the, the pass, was she? No, that was a Hammett on the reception oh, yeah. and Bolin on the run there. So two different touchdowns, and we got some push-ups going on from the cheerleaders. <laughs> And most of them look pretty good. Good form. Yeah. I've seen worse. I've seen worse push-ups for sure. <laughs> Sophomore is going for two again. Nichols and runs it in for the two-point conversion. Okay, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. One really minute good. to go. Sophomore no, 16, not freshman not zero. I mean, I, no, no, there's no sound at all. I mean, okay. Okay, so our audio has been broken. Maybe. Sophomores to convert the two. 40 seconds. They're going to easily win this one here. Freshman will take over at the 40. It's all for naught. Coach Rice and company will take the loss, and we'll be playing in that consolation game. And and you can see by the stance of, of Robbie Rice there, he's just yeah he's disgusted, just disgusted, appalled about what has happened. He he thought he thought they could do better. He knew they could do better. Yeah, I think they happened. could have too. Yeah. As uh, don't run here. That was a very aggressive two-hand touch. But yeah, they finally get a pretty good run play there. First down. Yeah, if she would have just like ran to the side and away from everybody. Yeah, but a uh, three-two-one, game over. Ten-minute short game, and the sophomores win and sixteen to nothing, game one. and move on to the championship game. Sixteen freshmen They will zero. play the juniors or the seniors. Sophomores yeah, that game was just, just all one-sided. Advance to the championship game. game. We'll take on the it's winner of the one -sided. game between the juniors and the seniors. The freshman yeah, will cheerleaders play the coming out to game. graduate their team, as they should. Team effort. Next game is juniors versus seniors. And this is the game that we've been we've been waiting for all these ten minutes. Yeah, the juniors we've been versus the seniors. Ten long minutes plus two timeouts for what some have dubbed to be the championship game in, in the first round. Yeah. A little bit disrespectful there to the sophomores and the freshmen. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit disrespectful, but I mean, it's really just the truth. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, so we will have seniors and juniors momentarily. We have T.J. Leonard, one of the stars of the uh, actual DR football team. And we also He's see out there Justin Stubblefield, the uh, the, the quarterback that was uh, had his wrist broken. Potentially playing tomorrow night, I heard. Yeah, maybe. We'll see how uh, that goes. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if they'll let him. But yeah, but hopefully and juniors and seniors people that are, are watching this video field, now will we'll see with us as well. So we're streaming live First for tomorrow the night, homecoming against West Morgan. Emily Jolly. 7 o'clock. Yeah, that would be a real, Emily good, McBee. real good game. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Tori Nickel. Looking forward to this, too. Cassidy Allen. Brianna Seniors Lasky. in a light blue. Anna Carr. Not the traditional navy. Catherine yeah, Is Chalmers. that what they call a baby blue? Huh? Yeah. Nikki Cryer. Something, something you got to like know that. your colors. Lots of Mikhail those. Munoz. Haley Jolly. Kaylee Whitaker. Lexi Meeks. And Caitlin Holland. 
And there is Coach T.J. Leonard. Coaches for the juniors yeah. are Blake Tanner. Getting his, getting his crew up. ready. Randy Fuller. For what I mean, will be the greatest display of football in history. Yeah, he, I mean, he's got to get him pumped. I mean, this is the cheerleaders for the quite juniors. possibly, Taylor I mean, Pitts. I would say hands down, the biggest 10 minutes of their life. Yeah. Right Brandon Moat. It doesn't get bigger than this. Brody they Smith. peaked at this point. I mean, this is Brad seniors Allman. versus juniors. Andrew Wren. I mean, Chastel, yeah, I mean, you got to come out firing. Ethan Ayers. Looks like the seniors are going to start on defense. Hold up, Coach Largen. Let, let me introduce these seniors. Here are the seniors. Ivy Carmack. Coach Largen and the juniors and seniors Zoe are ready Epperson. to play. We're going to have Georgia to announce, Turner. announce the seniors first. Lauren Evick. Nye Stegman. Sounds like we got a lot McKenzie of senior fans Mitchell. in the house tonight hearing some cheers. Yeah, Chloe yeah. Bearden. Definitely the most, uh, most actionable crowd we've heard we've Alexis heard Smith. I mean, we've got free football. Morgan we've got free Gore. powder football, Aiden. And I mean, Brianna Bolt. It can't get, bit, can't get Coaches better Coaches for that. these seniors are T.J. Leonard, Landon Harbin, and Tammy yeah, T.J.'s already coaching. The play has not even started. You're He's screaming, the pointing, moving Eli pieces Spray. around. Ben Sutton. Cheerleaders are Seth ready. Seth Esslinger. Jaden Bohannon. Similar, uh, Josh similar outfits to the sophomores. Ladies yep, and gentlemen, yep, it's but, time uh, for the seniors versus the juniors. They do seem to have juniors. the same shirt on, which is good. There, there will be no yeah. miscommunication. They're ready to here. throw somebody up right now. Right does this game begin? Juniors will have first possession at the 40-yard line. Well, I, don't know, I don't know how they decided the juniors will have first possession. Is there some kind of coin flip, or, or is that just – Yeah, that is – Like, this, what is that? a little bit – and in a game like this, I, you're I mean, right. That's that's a pretty big. I would think it would be a seniority, but you know, I don't make the rules. Pitch here for the juniors. And yeah, Nickel on the run and shoved down. <laughs> big gainer for Shoved to the turf. That'd be a tackle in football. I mean, I guess it gets the, I guess it gets the job done. Hey man, that's two hand touch. Yeah. You gotta be. That's where we separate the boys from the men. Powder puff football. She was tackled by Lauren Evett. The girls from the women. First down, juniors. Lauren Evett on the tackle. Did pick up a first down, though. Nobody really knew There's what was going here. on on that play. Looking for room. She's got it. Uh, Ten. No, I think no, she, was, low. she was called down. I don't know. Yeah, somebody don't know got where. a two-hand touch. Nickel with a carry again. Nickel with back-to-back -back carries. Looking to lead this junior team. Gain of about eight. Second and two. See if we see the same play every time. Back to back, same play. You throw, they pitch it back. Nichols gonna run again. Right side. Blockers in front. Cuts back. Left. Good cut. And taken down inside the five. First down. And 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 Nichols just a just a dominant dominant runner out here. Nobody seems to be able Corey to, to Nichol, catch her. Down down to six. Lots of lots of missed touches. Yeah, quite possibly the best athlete on the field on any of the four teams. The juniors are using her to their it's advantage. First and goal. First and goal. They are going to throw this time wide open. And honestly, a great drive by the juniors. Three straight plays. Touchdown. Uh, three straight run plays Cassie to Nichol Allen. set up the play action. Throw a wide open corner in the end zone, and the juniors just like that strike first. Touchdown reception by Hannah Carr, and the juniors are on the board first. Hannah Carr credited with that touchdown reception. Six to nothing. Juniors will go for two with 7:40 remaining. And, and another reception. Same two connect again for the two point conversion. And uh, it's the juniors it's, eight. It's looking a little bleak. Senior here for zero. The yeah, eight nothing. This is tough. Seven thirty to go in the game. Juniors did get ball first. That is tough. And I have to mount a comeback. Are the seniors? They will march down to the juniors forty and start there. Yeah, I will say the the seniors are really going to have to score fast here uh, and 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 get a stop. Yeah, figure out a way to stop Nickel and company. Uh, an interception would be would be ideal. Yeah, and I feel like it's so possible with the uh, tough offensive the attack. Though line. they have the run threat, and then and then as they showed there on back-to-back -back plays on the touchdown two-point conversion, the the throwing threat as well. Yeah, yeah. So dynamic offense brought out by the juniors. The troll out wide, uncovered right now. 
Still uncovered. They're going to throw it to her. Oh. And over her head. And Wide open the entire the time. Lineman doing From the a, moment. Lineman doing a terrible job there. Just busted yeah. right through Just the line. Just beyond the fingertips of Mr. Allen Second coming time. after the quarterback. But yeah, they're bringing the heat. And I think that's a timeout call. Yeah, Leonard does not like what he sees. But the clock is still running. Okay, it is stopped now. Leonard does not like what he sees through one drive and one play. And, uh, yeah, it seems like a game where if you give up a score and get stopped, it's over. Oh, uh, yeah, most definitely. It's pretty much so. bottom line with 10 minutes. So yep. it's pretty much do or die. Seniors, yeah, it is do or die for the seniors at this point. Just got to get a touchdown here. Seniors putting on a display. And that is Michael Stevens at the top of that pyramid, giving giving a little action. Attention, please. Mass. Angela Scott, please report to the quarterback club. I mean, they learned a lot. Put your, put, your, put your widest man on Angela top. Scott. Just let him go to work, quite if frankly. Found your oh, yeah, definitely. He did just that. It's going to be some Patriot points as far as I'm concerned. It's second down for the seniors at the 40-yard line. What we want, ideally, is to gain a lot more Patriot points with a powder puff win. Second and ten. And that is, Maybe offsides. Yeah, that is just blatantly offsides there. Maybe offsides. We've got a imaginary flag on the play. <laughs> five yard penalty yeah, for offsides. Fall. He's going to march that off five yards, five good yards. Yep. She tried to get away with it. Tried to be a little bit sneaky there, but uh, I don't even know if she tried to sorta, be sneaky. Sort of lined up It'll be second on our side. To be fair, she jumped about eight feet off. Oh, she's coming again. Quarterback run. Good block. Good block. Carmack, right side, first down and more. 25 up the right side in the red zone and marches out of bounds near the 17 yard line. First yeah, down, seniors. Not necessarily Carmack. matter because it is Fortunately running clock no matter nickel. what. So, yeah, still seniors, about 5.30 to play though. Yeah, seniors really got to hurry here. Down to the but difficult, as you said, with the juniors getting the ball the first. Seniors. Yeah, I, I'm still not really sure how that happened, but we'll have to we'll have to look into that after the game. Yeah, somebody needs to do a better job calling the points. That's all I'm saying. Carmack back to throw. End zone, literal, got it. Touchdown seniors. Went up on touchdown two seniors. girls and made the catch. 21 yard and touchdown pass. Carmack put it just right Carmack where she needed to. to. Literal. Yeah. And literal goes up and gets it, wow. Using that yeah. height over the Justin defenders. Stubblefield-esque on that pass. Game, folks. They need the two point two conversion though. The Eight to six, 445 to go. And if this game does end up at a tie, Howie, I think um, each Carmack team running left. Big two-point conversion needs to get the edge. She's got it. Two-point conversion, good. It's eight to eight. And Carmack if it remains like this, Howie, I believe at the end of the game, to it's go, a tie, we're tied. then eight each eight. team will get one possession. Yeah, starting on the ten-yard line, similar to uh, college rules there. Uh, one possession. Basically, you need one first down. Get get the touchdown. Obviously, you'd be forced to go for two. And uh, basically continue that way, even over possessions until the tie is broken. So, and they're they're taking their time getting down the field. So, yeah, need a we, little bit of a breather. We may see that situation. Uh, four minutes to go, though, and uh, I mean the juniors are going to have time here. So, the seniors, if you're Leonard, the rest of the coaches, Leonard with a lot of his assistants, <laughs> moving parts around, waving hands. Trying to get everything set up. Juniors on the it's far side, the juniors, not as much directing. They, they think they got it. Oh, yeah, definitely a lot of confidence coming from the juniors right now. 8 to 8, 3.30 to go, running clock. Here comes the snap. Low snap, pitch, nickel again. They might have her bottled up here, cuts back. And she is down. Yeah, gain of about five. Pretty good two-hand touch there, though. Yeah, yeah, that was that was definitely good. If she would have she would she would have got past that touch there, and Nickel she may have been gone. Down so, play. yeah, Carmack doing doing a great Tackle job there. Yeah, stayed in front and uh, second down, wrapped her up. Three minutes left, tied ball game. Yeah, snap, throw, good one, but off the hands, incomplete. And incomplete. Yeah, just a little bit high. Intended for Meeks there. Allen to Meeks, incomplete. Third down. 
2.45 to go. Clock really becoming a factor. Tie game, 8-8, junior seniors. A lot of Patriot points on the line, Greg. Oh, yeah, a lot. Like a lot. This is big. Had the parade earlier. Great job by all grades on their floats. Now they're dueling it out in the powder puff game. Third down. Rebecca. Gonna run. And no, didn't get her. Yeah, no, they did. She was down. She was down. Two hands made contact. Fourth there. down. Fourth down. Critical she's, play. She's tackled around the line of scrimmage there. She really got nothing. Yeah, nothing there. Seniors no, looking for a huge stop scrimmage. here. Monumental a stop. Bit over two minutes left. Huge stop come here. here. Fourth down. And where's where's the marking? It's going to be close, right at that 30-yard line. They might need to bring out the imaginary chains here. Yeah, I think the chains are going to have to come out green. They're going to roll it first oh, down, first juniors. Down. That is tough. We need some age yeah, that's SAA just a, that's officials. Just a bad this is spot. ridiculous. That's a ridiculous spot. I don't even know. I mean, clearly touched. I mean, the ball. The, he, the, the ball's not even marked past the 30-yard line. They got nine down. yards, and it resulted in a first down. Now they got a way back, and they yeah, sack her way back the at the 39. I don't even know if that's allowed in two Seniors with a huge sack after they got gypped on the first on the nine-yard first down. This is huge. Just over a minute left. Yeah, though. This time really like winding down here. Running in. Oh, the snap. Pass play complete. Right side. But she is down. Yeah. Uh, back near the, the original line of scrimmage, which was at the 31. Gonna bring up third down. And, uh, no, not near the third one, 34 moving. yard line. Still behind the chains are the uh, juniors, if anyone's keeping up with the chains. Quick snap, looking for someone deep. And broken up. Fourth down, just broken like that. Like Green. Own teammate. 40 seconds to go. This might be the last pitch of the game. Down. We might have that overtime scenario that you were talking about. Yep. So we can have one big pass play. We'll see if the juniors might want to time out here. And time out taken by the seniors. No, it's the seniors, the seniors who take the time take out. The time out. This is a key play. Fourth and long. Yeah, fourth and behind the chains. This is the most key play of the game. And as far as I'm concerned, they need to they need to um, protect the sticks here if you're the seniors. Just get everybody by the sticks and do not let them throw it for that first down. Make sure to contain the run here. Huh? When you say play, At halftime. Junior's getting ready for a cheerleading display. Might see a bowling, bowling ball coming in from Brad Altman. He's ready. He's getting us fired up. I'm ready for this. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah. That's a strike. That is a strike. <laughs> Pretty impressive, not going to lie. Yeah, uh, I got it. I got to give it to the Jutra cheerleaders. Um, yeah, and the outfits that we were talking about. Yeah, great. But on the football field, right, seniors looking to take over on downs. Fourth down. Clock not running. Looking to pass. Now running. She might have room if they can push her out there. Oh, short. She is short. Yep. Seniors should take over. Twenty-five seconds to go. What? This is ridiculous. Does Real he know? Where Eli, the yard Eli's line. out on the field. Does he know where the yard lines are? They started at the 40-yard line. I think the seniors, are, the seniors are running onto the field for good reason. I mean, they started at the 40-yard line yeah. and have gotten two first downs, and the ball's at the 24 green. <laughs> Coach Largent may or may not know how to count. We'll have to check in on that. Hey, he doesn't have to worry about that tomorrow night. He can just worry about coaching Yeah, if he can do night. that, I guess that is his job. But he's doing a very poor job tonight, I gotta say. We got we got ten ten ticks left, Green. Yeah, the clock is stopped here, and for good reason. This is timeout, critical play. Honestly, not sure who has the ball. He pointed first down, juniors. Last I checked. Yeah, I think I think Dennis is out there educating him on. On, on, uh, yard lines on how such. yard lines work, so we'll see if the call gets changed. I think the seniors might have it. I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second. See who's going to man that. It is 
10.8 seconds to go. Unfortunately, first down, juniors. Going to be the juniors. Yeah, somehow, juniors. The first down, down at the 24 yard line. They've gained 16 yards, yeah, two maybe, first downs. Maybe they're doing eight yard first downs. Let's see. Pretty Back good to pass. Probably the last play of the game. She's and in trouble. All over. All She's over. in trouble. She's been tackled She's twice. And throws it. Incomplete. Yep. Clock runs out. We will have that overtime. Overtime coming. So, We're going to overtime. like we alluded to earlier, as far as I know, both teams get equal amount of possessions starting at the 10 yard line until the tie is broken. So, very similar to college football rules. So, they start at the 10 instead of the 25. And obviously, two point conversions always. And Dennis having to bring Leonard off the field. Leonard is clearly heated. Yeah, last thing you want to do is get an unsportsmanlike conduct and, and have them actually start at the 25 yard line. I guess they're starting at 25, senior ball. Both teams do it at 25, unless penalty is called. Get some real, real flags next year. Flitter was all the way out in midfield when the play was started. Seniors looking, looking to pass. Into double coverage and incomplete, second down. Max pass is incomplete. She was looking for, uh, for literal there. Good yeah, idea. Had the big touchdown pass earlier, the only touchdown pass of the game for the seniors. So clock off. Equal amount of possessions. Ball. Ball now at the 20. <laughs> it's tough. It's QB tough. Run. Right side, though. Yeah, room. Nobody close room. to her. Room. 10. And. Signal. No signal. Was there even a ref down there? First down for sure. Maybe. Carry by Carmack down inside the five. Okay. Yeah, inside the five. It'll be first and goal. Maybe first and Seniors goal or first third goal. Who knows? Overtime. Juniors will also get a possession. Juniors just, or uh, seniors just need to punch it out on this play. Yeah, something in goal here. Been an awesome night of football so far. We had a uh, little bit of a cold front come through and then, uh, that knocked it down about 10 degrees. And that's oh, been yeah, definitely. great. It has been quite Much miserable. Needed. Quite miserable the past few days. Talking about to pass again. Running. Looking for room. Cutting. And the seniors. Score, I think. No, I think they no. called Car that. A, she, was, she was down no. at the line goal. of scrimmage. Second and goal. Second and goal. Running left this time, whistles blow. Do we have movement? I think a timeout was time called. Timeout. Interesting. That's why I guess you have get a timeout a, on the field. I mean, I guess that's fair. You fans, get another timeout. Both concession in stands are open. Both concession stands. The quarterback club at the west end of the stadium and the band boosters at the east end. Are there all both concession stands are open, so be sure this to. This is big, Aiden. We got, we got goal to, to go right now for the seniors. Oh yeah, this is in massive. The first overtime. After this game, we've got a another of game what between could the be two the championship losers. game. That, I mean, the, the winner of this will go on to play a softball winners. team that, in fairness to them, looked pretty impressive in their 16 to nothing shot out of the freshman. Yeah, very true, very true. Highest scoring game of the night so far. Uh, yeah. In 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 uh, regular time. Yeah. They put some points on the board in a hurry. And it looks like the, uh, the senior cheerleaders may have dropped Michael Stevens on his head there, but he got up and he you know, is okay. You know, I think that shows character. Yeah, it does. I mean, you know, you practice it, but things happen. Things happen, cheerleaders get their heads busted open, and as long as you get up after, I think, I think you're going to be awarded those Patriot points at the end of the day. Yeah. And Leonard needs his coaches to maybe pull him off the field there. He's... He's on the 20. Yeah, he's, he's past the hash marks. He's and uh, pressure was coming, 
I mean, and they I, got her I, down. Don't, I don't know if they got two hands on her there. That's I it. only saw one hand. Carmack it looks like to be some, to sort, of, some sort of scuffle between the two cheerleaders. Back to the 11. Back to the 11. I think we're third and fourth and goal. This might be do or die here. Yeah, and here I would expect to see a pass to literal. I think it's the only way that they're going to get this. Yeah, you got to throw it up here. 11 yards to go. Just get it on target and, and literal will take it. I think they might double her again. Done that a couple of times. Didn't stop her the first time. QB run instead. Run Left side. Room. Tripped up. That's just unfortunate. Maybe just a... Carmack tackled after a short game. And, yeah, that was fourth and goal. Yep. So the juniors come up with a stop that they needed. Now if they can run it into the end zone, the game will be over. And uh, I don't know if I agree that will turn the ball over on with the bounce. call there now by, by Lee. I don't know. I mean, I, if position. it doesn't work the first three times, I don't know why you try to fourth. If they score, they win. Yeah, now, now seniors in a do or die stop. Juniors. Timeout juniors. I mean, this is timeout palooza in game number two. I mean, if you got them, use them, and, and the juniors really need to. If they can punch this one in here, it's over. Faint blue clouds all around mm -hmm. in a uh, <laughs> beautiful night for Powder Puff football. Powder Puff cheerleading. Yeah, R.J. Myers there. Yeah, he's showing off his backflip skills. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I guess you could call that a backflip. I think I, I mean, it, I'd, call that, I'd call that a half backflip. He did I'd land call, on his stomach. I'd call it a uh, that's good effort. Buster. Yeah, that's good I effort. Mean, that's what I call it. Yeah, but good effort, no matter no matter how you look at it. I mean, I haven't seen one better than that. So, yep. I I mean, the junior could, seemed to be idling. Better. They had that. They had that one bowl. Other than that, the junior yeah, cheerleaders they, they've been pretty of, quiet. They didn't expect this to go into overtime. They've kind of ran out yeah, of they, ideas. Here. Yeah. They had that one cheer practiced, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. And other than that, they are uh, they're baffled as to uh, what to do. But the juniors know what they have to do here. They need a touchdown to win it. Running left side She's edge. Got blockers. She is wrapped up, but a pretty and solid taking run down there. five yard gain. Hold a couple people over, including her own teammate. Cassidy Allen with a carry for about a five yard gain brings up second down. Second down and five. Juniors touchdown wins it. Throwing, oh, incomplete off her hands. Yep. Might have won it there. Yeah, great, great, great pass, pass there. Just third down. Could not get the ball in. They're actually calling this. I finally made up. No, I don't want nothing to do with the We are on the call here. Powder Puff football. Third down, touchdown wins it. Left side. Near the sticks. And nearly sacked in the backfield there, but yeah. only got one hand on her. Knowing how these referees have been calling, they're going to call that a first down. Although it is clearly well short of the 10-yard line. So maybe not fourth, fourth down. Seniors looking for a stop, and then we do it again. I think if seniors can get another chance at this one, then they'll be able to, to convert. They snap it. They need to get her. And she's down. Wow. Wow. Great job. So they stopped her on fourth, and now, now we'll go again. Absolutely blew up the line there. Blitz coming in. Back to the 20-yard line, and we are going to double overtime in what has been, Mr. Green, probably the best powder puff football game I've ever watched in my entire life. Oh, yeah. I have, I have truly never seen one go this so long. I mean, this down. is an instant classic as far as I'm concerned. Now, this may be the only only the third game Seniors of Powder Puff football that I've watched, but this is by far the best. I mean, by far. <laughs> TJ still coaching. First and ten. Seniors have it again. One possession each. She's running. Looking She's for got room. the edge. Right side. Missed tackle. Yes, she still... On her feet. Let's see where they mark that. Yeah, great run Call there. Back with a big gain on the play. Inside the 10, I think. 
Should be first and goal. And it will be. Down to the eight yard line. Where we first and goal. Eight yards to go. They had a first and goal from about the five on their first overtime possession and were unable to convert. Went to four quarterback runs, as you mentioned, and were unable to get it in as Leonard is jumping up and down on the 10 yard line. If Carmack can get he some walks blockers the here. touchdown. She's looking to throw. And I don't know who she was throwing it to. There was nobody there. It looked like Carmack's pass interference pass if, that was, going to, if that was going goal. to Littrell. Littrell was already wrapped up before the pass even came out. Yeah, that's probably a good strategy. Only way to contain her. <laughs> running right side, running out of room. That was only one hand. Might have gained a couple, might have made something yeah. out of nothing, but it's already third and goal. These are the last 10 yards proving to be the most difficult for the seniors. Do you think at some point they'll just call it if we keep going? Carmack run out of bounds. I, th I think we'll be here all night, Green. I mean, this is of the utmost importance. Yeah. Miss Weems has been known to get a little bit impatient, though, so she may just call it a tie here. Yeah. I mean, you got to have some sort of some sort of championship, though, as left side, one hand, left side, end zone, seniors jumping up and down, touchdown, seniors. Wow. Carmack gets the in The coaches and cheerleaders alike greet her. And just as we thought it might not end here, the seniors, all they have to do is get a stop, and that, that'll be it. Yeah. Pre prevent the juniors from getting 20 yards, and what looks so promising for the juniors has now flipped. And the seniors look like they have the game in hand if they can get one stop. And the senior cheerleaders, senior cheerleaders be running down chasing, the junior cheerleaders. Chasing the junior cheerleaders off the field. Uh... I mean, just showing them who the better cheerleaders are there. Yeah, clearly, clearly. Running them off like cattle. Looked like maybe a few implants fell out there while they were on the run. Seniors go for two, correct or no? Or are we just... I think we're just going to go for We're just going touchdown. touchdowns, yeah, okay. we're just going touchdowns. Now the juniors will take a possession at the 20-yard line. Stubblefield having to pull Leonard back. I mean, Leonard's been on the field all night. If he hadn't got flagged yet, he's not getting flagged now. Draws back to pass, throws it. Oh, complete. That was a, a good pass, good catch. Yeah, good pitch and catch, the short weeks. of the first down, but good gain and a big shove at the end of the Game play. About eight on the play, it'll be second down. And they're not messing around. This is might be claimed to be two-hand touch, but some physicality going on on the field down there. Back to pass again, running. Sack would be huge here. And is that a sack? Did they sack her? I think they got her. I think they got her. Wow. Like yeah, Mark almost back, back, back to where they behind, started. Yeah, behind where they started. It's going to be third and 11. And if the juniors can't get a first down in two plays, the seniors will sneak out of game one with a win. What a game one it was. Yeah, not over yet. I can't believe they haven't gone back to that run yet. But seniors are getting pressure. Blown up coverage, almost intercepted there. Yeah, interception would end it, obviously. Fourth down, though. Balance pass is incomplete. The seniors can feel it bring up on the sideline. Coach is fired up. No, they need one more play to send the seniors to the championship game. And this is what all of their lives have been leading up to right I mean, it here, comes this down final to this. play. It comes down to this do or die for both sides. Fourth and a long way. Low snap, bounces to her, throws it. And Incomplete it down. and the seniors win. Literal bats it down. Allen's pass, that would be away. good good pass well, defense, true. even on a and high school football team. Yeah, great comeback by the seniors there. It the is seniors tough to come back in this sport, powder pump football. And they outscored the juniors 14 to nothing after the, the opening drive and two-point conversion. Game and the, the seniors do win it. Coming up next. I just, I just can't even contain my excitement right now. I, mean, I just can't believe that. I mean, that happened. was unbelievable. I mean, that gave DR's playoff win last year a run for its money. I know, I know. Um, you can hear from the crowd. I mean, this the is cheerleaders, why here. the cheerleaders, unbelievable. The play on the field outmatched that. I mean, just exceptional. I mean, to stop 
the juniors on four straight downs to just end the games. I mean, they stoned them cold on the 20-yard line, couple of sacks, and like you said, just great defense on that last play. And it ended the game. They stepped up when it was needed, came out with a win, and uh, we'll, we'll have the consolation game shortly between the juniors and the freshmen. Ten more minutes of action. And there, head, there he heads back out on the field, Coach yeah, Robbie this Rice. Is not, this is not the uh, position that Coach Rice wanted to be in. He, know, he knows waltzing, he has to win this. I mean, he's just waltzing slowly out to the center of the field to have a chat with someone about his discrepancies and despairs of this powder puff game. And I'm sure. Knows, and he knows if he loses this one too, he will never be able to live it down. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's got, he's got a lot to say, a lot on his mind after uh, what has occurred here tonight. I mean, he's got one more shot at it. But like you said, if he comes up short here, um, might be the biggest defeat of his career. I mean, there really will be no coming back from this. Both teams huddling up, getting ready for this consolation game. Third place and fourth place teams. Bit of a break in the action here, Green, huh? I can see a cheerleader performance or something. Yeah. This thing moving. <clears throat> I do think that this will be edited out, but just but hey, in, in the case of somebody gets lazy and it's not, we're here. The stands are open on each end of the stadium, so be sure to go get your cold refreshments and snacks. Both concession stands are open. Here, really, really drawing this one out. The freshmen are back on the field Finally, and ready to go. getting ready to uh, play this They'll consolation game. First. Third place game between the freshmen in uh, gray and, as Aiden said earlier, various other colors versus the juniors who are mostly in red. It's for third place. Freshmen got shut out 16 to nothing in game one against the sophomores. And the bell and the does ring there, so they do have to take the field. Yeah, juniors really taking their time over took there. the tough luck. Double overtime, 14-8 to eight loss to All the right, seniors. Game three, consolation game. Ten-minute running clock. Freshman. freshman will have the ball first at the 40-yard line. As both teams are just about set to go, freshmen get the ball first at the juniors' 40, first and 10. See if the freshmen uh, have fixed that air attack or uh, if they'll go to the ground. We'll see what they do as uh, it could not get much going offensively in game one. 
They're going to run a little bit of a trick play here. Looks like Coach Rice was uh, doing some some homework down there on the sideline, and a pretty good play there results in a gain yep. of three yards. If the runner would have just like you know skirted around the outside and not ran into her own blocker, then yeah, that may have tough been to blame run. that one About on Coach a one Rice. Yard gain for Phillips on the play. Market is a one yard gain, second and nine. Low snap again. Running same right play. now, left, same play. And they snuff it out yep. this time as well. Third down. I don't know if Coach Rice thought he was drawing up, you know, the greatest play known to man. Uh, he, score every time. Or, he uh, probably did. Honestly, he, he probably thought so. Down. Or and the juniors are really just blowing that one up. Yeah. They're going to have to do something it's all different. It's uh, all about disguising what you're going to do. They are going to go right this time. Uh, She's down I kind of like what he's going a little bit of an option game here, a little bit of a Georgia Tech football style Lost here. Three brings up fourth uh, from the freshman, not working out too well, though. Yeah, uh, a read option, but when they don't know how to read the defense, it's, it's a little yeah, difficult. Yeah, a couple of reads. They got that read option and then that speed option, back-to-back, -back, so triple option. This time it's a quarterback <laughs> keeper. And hit hard by her yeah. own teammate. And uh, fourth down as she was... Or maybe that's, to the ground. maybe that's not her own teammate, just somebody in a jersey that is exactly like hers on the other team. Yeah, fourth down. Coach Rice going hard for this triple option here. He's actually the juniors just have taken over on downs. Apparently. It's all right. We'll work on counting in the offseason. No. No, yeah. there they go. There they go. Fourth down, guys. Short on the first down. It's yeah, a little confusion there. They're, they're, they're back. The juniors, it's man. fine. First and ten. It's fine. We're all we're all working. <laughs> and had a receiver wide open but incomplete. Allen's yeah, not, incomplete. not an ideal It'll pass there, down. but I see where she was going. So juniors with the football after stopping the freshman on the opening drive. Throwing again. And off her hands, incomplete third down. Bit of a defensive showcase so far. Yeah, yeah, it's really shutting down that pass. Up third down. And the juniors were really able to shut down that run, so neither defense breaking early. 7.25 to go, consolation game. Uh, running right, nickel. Got the edge across midfield. One more cut to do it, and, and it goes. will. Touchdown, juniors. Tory Nickel and a key block to there. To the Watch house. Nickel to get to the end zone. Great yeah. job. Got the edge, and like you said, got that key block uh, about 10, 15 yards past midfield. She's virtually able to walk into the end zone. For Tory Nickel. And the juniors have cracked the scoreboard first in the consolation game, six to nothing. It will go for two. See if Coach Rice has conjured up anything else out of that triple option. See if he goes to the air. And it looks like they don't get the two point. No two point conversion there. Stopped two right, point at, conversion, right at the no line. Good. Yeah, so that could be a big play. The freshmen are able to, to somehow get in the end zone six. for the first time tonight. Freshman get that zero. two point conversion there on top. But for the moment, it's junior six and freshman nothing. That could be huge, Howie. Yeah, 6 10 to go. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Don't have to worry about the clock right now. So, uh, Freshman will get the ball on their 40, I guess. <laughs> have a little bit of a longer field here, so, uh, oh, ball on the ground. Man, thought we might have our, uh, First turnover of the night there. It's a little hard to get Lost a fumble on a uh, two-hand touch game, down. but we almost had it right there. Yeah. Close. Not to be second down, loss of five. Running right. No gain there. Traders have got to set their game up. I mean, yeah, we I saw some good routines out the gate, but... Uh, Short lived. Yeah, I don't know if these cheerleaders are. Yeah, I mean, they got to really know they, we got we got four games on the docket. 
And, uh, They've just kind of shut down. We need cheers throughout. And there's a fumble on the play. Do they call her down or? Please rolling. Fumble on the fumble play. On the play. Yeah, fumble. Oh, yeah. by the yeah. on first turnover. Wow. And the juniors looking to pour it on in the consolation game. Let out some of that frustration that the seniors induced with their 14 to eight win. And I don't know if you saw it, Howie, but I, I believe the fumble was caused by her own teammate running into her. Yeah. Uh, Interception! Back-to-back -back turnovers? Pass the pass intercepted. Pass intercepted. Wow, back-to-back -back turnovers. We had had none all night. We were two and a half games in. And we had back-to-back -back turnovers, fumble, followed by an interception. And it looked like the juniors were going to run away with it, but maybe not. Yeah, freshman maybe not. One, maybe not. one big play for the freshman ties the game. Run here. Pretty good game. And I, I, they just, I feel like they just have to throw it here. I'm, I, they're, they're just shooting themselves in the foot. But I think Coach Rice has got it. First down, I think second he's got down it. At the 23. And another run. Another run. I mean. Although we did, we did see them throw in game one. A little bit shaky at times. Yeah, but it's 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 very difficult to to run it up the middle in a two hand touch game. That's not that yeah. doesn't really work. After the run by Stewart, it's going to be third Good down. Point. And ball dropped again, picked up, and, and only, she's taken down in the backfield. Yeah, only touch with one hand, but I guess she'll fumble in the backfield. One hand touch, two hand touch, freshman, but it's going to bring fourth touch. down. And there is T.J. Leonard strolling back out onto the field. Getting He's getting ready. ready for this championship game. Getting ready game. for this championship game. I'm getting game. ready for this championship game. Freshman and junior still with 2.45 to go, but right after that we will have the championship game. It will be the seniors and the sophomores. So we uh, have a timeout here. What are we, fourth down? Let's go wake up. Fourth down, third down, fifth down. One of the downs. Kenny Downs. <laughs> Always fun on homecoming week at DAR High School. Parade. Powder puff game, and then of course, to cap it off, the homecoming football game, where we will take on West Morgan tomorrow night, seven o'clock, streaming live on YouTube. And we're back on the field, and it looks like we're ready to go. <coughs> yeah, I think it's fourth down. Freshman needing something here, two thirty-seven to go. Might be the last time they touch a the ball. They're going to run it up the left. She's got she might have room. the edge. And punched and in the face. Yeah. Be hard hit. Tony, they're not playing around down there. This is, this is physicality. The they might as well just call it tackle. I mean, at this point, I think all of them out there would be willing to play tackle football. Yeah. Going to be short of a first down. It'll be turnover on down. Short of the first Juniors down. Take Juniors over. take over. Leading six to nothing. Trying to run out the rest of this clock and maybe add on one more score. I mean, there's not really a a play clock, so I mean, they kind of just stand there. Yeah, it's a good point there, but uh, not the best sportsmanship. Power puff night. And you know the juniors, they would love nothing more. And another touchdown to seal their consolation game win. Oh, yeah. Really, Down really to just the 15. putting salt in the wound. Yeah, keep that in mind, though. Consolation game uh, is what these teams have found themselves in. Thanks to the sophomores and the seniors. And how it looks like Coach Rice already knows it. He is taking a seat on.